Robbie, first thing to say, welcome to Rochdale Football Club. You were obviously appointed, or the news was announced that you were appointed on Saturday. You've been here for two days now in terms of working with the players. Are you enjoying your time so far? Yeah, very much so. Everyone's been very welcoming. Um, it's been really hectic to getting to know everybody, staff, players, um, staff at the, the ground, training ground. So um, finding me way with it a little bit, but um, it was, it's really good to be back on the grass working with the players. That's what I enjoy doing. Um, what was the the main pull of Rochdale Football Club for yourself? Um, I think it was having speaking to the board, um, their vision um, of what the club wants to be, and it fitted in very much with some of my ambitions. Um, it's unique in the way that it's it's fan owned. You know, there's not many of those about. I feel a, a huge responsibility um, with that to make sure that the fans are happy with the work that we do. Um, I think we've got to remember that the fans are the heartbeat of a football club. They'll be here long after staff players are, are, have been in the building. So we want to make everybody um, aligned with the, the, the vision that we've got, and that's to win. We want to come here to win and, and get up the leagues again. And that would be so much easier with everybody backing us. And I understand that we need to give them a team that they can back, and, and that's the job. The board, the directors in their sort of short tenure so far have been very much want to be aligned with the supporters. Is that was that one of the main discussion points when the interviews were taking place with yourself? Yeah, certainly was. Um, I think I want to be accessible to the supporters. I think the club deserves that, and um, you know, want to be as open and honest as we can be. Obviously, the, there's certain things that can't be shared, but um, whenever possible. Um, we want to make sure that the fans feel part of the journey and it's a really exciting time for us. New manager, new board, um, new league. So hopefully we're, we're successful on the pitch and that leads to success off it. You will have done a lot of research on the squad before you were appointed. You've had a chance to obviously work with them now. Are you impressed with the, the quality that we do have in the moment at this moment in time? Yeah, certainly. I mean, um, relegation always brings up issues. You, you know, very rarely do you, do you, do you go down a division and, and keep all the players. So... That's fine. Um, our squad's good, small, and we need to bring players in. I'm fully aware of that. Um, again, everyone can be uh, rest assured that that's something I'm working very hard on. But also, we need a little bit of patience on that one. Um, you know, it's easy to jump the gun and just get the first players that become available. And I don't think I'd be doing my job properly for Rochdale if I did that. I want to do the due diligence on the players. One, we want good ability, good physicality, but certainly good uh, mental strength and good people, uh, good characters. Uh, I'm really, really big on that. And especially having worked with the players for a couple of days now, we've got that in abundance in the squad. So I want to add to it and not take it away. It's a case of them wanting to bring in players that will complement the, the players that we've got, but also sort of help to implement your ideas as well. Yeah, and that, that's the role of any manager who goes into a club that wants to put their stamp on it. Um, but I've been really impressed with what I've seen from the players so far. The work ethic has been outstanding. I've asked them to continue that. Um, the first few games for me in pre-season are all about fitness. You know, you won't see a massive change in... Um, the, you will see tactical changes, but what I'm saying is the main focus is making sure that the players get through to the end of pre-season in one, one piece. Do you understand what I want from them? Um, and then we attack the season when it comes. In terms of the style of football that you want to implement into the into the squad, can you give supporters a sort of a brief idea on that? Yeah, so um, I spoke to the players about what I'm after. It's, it's high energy. Um, I want to entertain. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, we go gung-ho. You know, we conceded too many goals last year. But I want supporters to come away feeling that the, the team have given their all. Um, we played on the front foot. But against the ball, we've been horrible. Oh, you know, I use the phrase, we want to be horrible to play against. Um, so there's two sides to it. Will we get it right every time? No, there's no promises with that. But I think the fine margins of winning, losing or drawing, the supporters should always go away. I think we've given 100% for them. In terms of people that you want to, to work with, in terms of your backroom staff, you've obviously got the backroom staff that are here already, but is, is there anyone that, you know, is there room for you to bring in a couple of people who, who you know and trust? Yeah, so I've been really impressed with the, the guys that have been uh, doing the work to now. It's never easy. I've been in their position. Um, so I was speaking to them all. So, you know, obviously they had a good connection with Brian before me. So potentially some of them might not want to stay. So that's something that I have said we'll, we'll speak about. Um, and that, that should happen at the end of this week. 
I'm really pleased through the LMA to, to say that Sammy Lee, who I've got a lot of respect for, will come in in a, it's called a mentoring role. So the LMA will provide Sammy for all uh, advice. Um, so he, you'll see him around the place. He's not in every day. He's, he's not a member of staff per se, but he's somebody that I can lean on and know that he, he's on the end of a phone and um, hopefully he'll be able to get into the training ground every so often and be at the games and, and give me his feedback. You were at the game pre-season friendly against Luton Town on Saturday. We've obviously got a pre-season schedule already in place. Are you looking forward to, to getting into those games and getting out onto the pitch? Yeah, well, I can't wait till Saturday when we get some supporters in the stadium. I was fortunate enough to work at the back end of last year in the Premier League when um, when I was at West Ham. We, we got supporters in for our final home game. It was incredible, the noise that they made. And then our final game of the season at Ellen Road in front of the Leeds fans was... You know, it was only a small percentage of the, the supporters in the stadium, but goodness me, it felt like it was it was twice full, never mind full. So, um, fingers crossed, everybody comes in and enjoys the game. Um, it, it's a safe environment. The guys all look after that side of things. And um, again, win, lose or draw, hopefully they go away happy with what they've seen. And just finally, what would be your message to supporters coming in as new Rochdale Football Club manager? Hopefully we give them a team to be proud of. That's the aim. Um, they're very much part of this club more than probably any other club I've worked at. Um, but again, it might, it might take a little bit of time to get up and running, but with their help, it makes it so much easier.